The Murray River Curly Coated Retriever is a very versatile worker from Australia which is highly intelligent, energetic and loyal. In this video I will tell you all you need to know about the Murray River Retriever. I would love to thank Ant, Murphy, Remy and Winnie for letting me use their photos in this video. If you will like the Murray River Retriever and you would love to see more of it, definitely check them out. Links are in description. The Murray River Retriever is sometimes mistaken with the Curly Coated Retriever or Labradoodle, but I would say that they are more similar to Irish or American Water Spaniel. The Murray River Retriever is a medium sized dog with average height between 18 to 21 inches, which is 46 to 53 centimeters. So as you can see, they are slightly smaller than the popular Retriever breeds, but they are very strong and just as effective in retrieving as other Retrievers. The most distinctive feature of the Murray River Retriever is definitely its coat. According to the proposed breed standard written by Ruth Bell, the coat is in liver color, sometimes with a white forechest spot and medium to tight curls lying close to the body. On the head, front of forelegs and paws, the fur is smooth. The coat is very dense, naturally oily and water resistant, which is helping the dog when working as water retriever. The Murray River Retriever has a strong and wedge-shaped head with powerful muzzle, almond-shaped eyes, relatively large ears, deep chest and strong hind quarters. This should always be intelligent and energetic breed who enjoys company of its family. Because of these traits and also high focus, the Murray River Retriever is normally highly trainable. They can be trained to be both excellent family companion or versatile worker. Naturally, they do best in retrieving, but they can also be trained to point, flush or track. Also, thanks to their high energy level, they make great adapt for various dog sports like agility. This is not only a hunter, the Murray River Retriever has potential to become great search and rescue dog, assistant dog or bomb sniffing dog. As you can see, this is truly a versatile breed. But of course, they can also be excellent family companions because they are very loyal, always happy, friendly and curious. They are best suited for active families that can deal with their higher physical and mental exercise needs. Daily long walks, hikes or swims accompanied with some task oriented playtime, fetching or training sessions are needed. It's important to know that even though Murray River Retrievers are loving and friendly around its family, they are not that thrilled when they see strangers. Of course, this can be vastly influenced by early socialization, but typically Murray River Retrievers are aloof and reserved with strangers and they might bark when they will see a stranger near your property, which actually makes them good watchdogs and potentially even protectors. But don't worry, they should never be aggressive without a reason. This breed is named after Murray River in Australia, where this breed was used a lot as retriever and protector on duck ponds and on paddle steamers. It is believed that this breed was developed in Australia in 1800s and the first photographs of this breed are from the area of Murray River from 1890s. According to recent DNA testing, this is a distinct and separate breed that was developed from various breeds including American and Irish Water Spaniel, Chesapeake Bay Retriever and English Springer Spaniel. This breed is still not accepted by any major kennel club, but in 2010 the Murray River Retriever Association was formed up to preserve and to promote the breed, which would hopefully lead to recognition of Murray River Retriever as a separate purebred dog. This is normally a healthy and hardy dog breed with average lifespan around 15 years. Of course, just like all dogs, they are prone to certain health issues like ear infections, entropion, hip dysplasia or progressive retinal atrophy. They are also prone to night blindness. The maintenance is not extremely hard, they do shed but it's nothing terrible and brushing once or twice a week will keep the shedding on minimum. Other than that, you should regularly check the dog's ears, eyes and nails and clip them or clean them if needed. And of course, you will have to daily exercise the dog's body and mind to keep the Murray River Retriever healthy and happy. Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the Murray River Retriever and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on, check our Instagram 
Facebook links are in description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.